there has been a lot of controversy about mercury related to autism. There are many people who believe that mercury is the cause of autism. Others believe that it might be a contributing factor. And then and, and a lot of people, especially in mainstream medicine and mainstream science, believe that it has absolutely nothing to do with, with autism. Well, mercury is a poison. And uh, we had in the past been giving um, vaccines to very tiny children that had thimerosal in it. And thimerosal is 52% mercury. And it doesn't seem very sensible to take a very, very young child and to inject poisonous mercury into their veins. And in the United States, they stopped doing that several years ago. Um, however, um, we do know a lot about mercury. Uh, if, uh, if a child does have a mercury exposure early in life, there's a very good chance that this could harm them and it could actually harm their development. Autistic children have a brain that has developed not quite the way it should have. And there are a number of um, areas of the brain that are, have not matured. Some people believe it's really mercury that may have stunted this part of the brain. There are other aspects of, of autism brains that are, that are different. There are um, things called mini columns uh, in the cortex that are altered. We, there are damaged um, thread-like parts of, uh, of, of damaged uh, fatty acids that are in the brain. So um, whether this, this, it's possible that this could have been caused by mercury, but it may not have been. One interesting thing is that uh, there have been some studies recently on autism brains where people are uh, using um, donated brains from um, autism brain banks have compared the concentration of mercury between autistics who died of something else perhaps at the age of 8 or 10 or whatever uh, with, with uh, typical children and in both cases uh, they were comparing people who had been exposed to thimerosal. These are children who had had the vaccines and what both studies have found is they can't find the mercury after several years have passed. So mercury may or may not have damaged autistic brains. It might have triggered autism, or it might not have. But in whatever case, it appears that it, it's, uh, it has left the brain after years pass. Uh, now, there happen to be hundreds of thousands of parents who believe that, that aut their child became autistic because they were exposed to mercury, and they seem to be trying to constantly, using chelation or other methods, trying to pull the mercury out of their child's brain thinking that, well, maybe they'll be okay or better if I can do that. And it turns out that it looks like it's not there, that there's only normal, typical trace elements, trace amounts of mercury in autistic brains years after any exposure might have been a problem.